que preguntarle a llegar. I was only five years old when I dreamed about being here in the United States because I saw the life that my mom had. My father abused my mom. La gente que vive como yo. I was only 11 years old when my father sold me. My husband was 28 years old. He was very abusive, always hitting me. Life was really tough in Mexico. I had no choice. I had to leave. I got here and started to work. Eventually, with time, I was able to get my paperwork so I could live here legally. Where there is work, there is money. You can provide for your children. At one of my children's checkups at Mayo Clinic, I mentioned to the doctor, I was really fearful for the welfare of my children, the way they were living. That's where the help started. Mayo Clinic makes the referral. The care coordinator had said, I don't really know what's going on. We just know that the family has some issues in the home. The first apartment she had been in, the ceiling fell in on her. And then in this apartment, that ceiling came down on them at the kitchen table. There was some water damage and there was water leakage, mold on the baseboards. There was mold you could see in the wall, which had been just painted over. Her three-year-old had fallen because the treads were loose on the stairs three times. The power would cut in and out. You could hear sizzling in the walls. You could hear crackling. And then there was a fire in the apartment below her. The whole building lost power. She was living in an apartment with no power, no water. She was unable to keep supplies for the children and not being heard when she's saying, you know, the treads are loose. Um, I'm hearing crackling in the walls. Then the landlord said, no, you can't break the lease. It's for a year. You are stuck here. If you break the lease, then we will take you to court. When the worker came from IMAA, I felt I was not alone. I knew I had somebody who was watching out for me. It was time to bring legal assistance of Olmsted County in. She has a right to expect a safe, mold-free home. People are afraid to complain and they're afraid to stand up for themselves for fear of retaliation, that they would be homeless. We don't have affordable housing for people. It's a crisis in Olmsted County. She pays $900 a month rent to have to live in the substandard conditions. The key thing as a community health worker, I'm mobile. We have to reach people where they need to be met. Otherwise, their voice may never have been heard. She was very afraid to say anything, but she's now realized your voice does matter. We care about healthy families. We want them getting the care and the services that they deserve. And that's where I believe United Way comes in. We know that there's a lot of partners that United Way works with. Being able to network, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. If we didn't have the support of United Way, there would be so many programs that would not survive. And these programs are vital to the health and well-being of this community. If we didn't have United Way, we wouldn't have community health workers. It's a team, and it's what makes this community great. If we're all working with one mission in mind to really better this community, there should be no stopping us.